Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a reset button for your property grid. So let's create a new project. And we're going to add a button to our form and a property grid view. And the selected object for the property grid will be our button. Okay, so let's go to the button. We're going to click on the button and change something up in the editor here in the IDE. You'll be able to hit you'll be able to right click the item and hit reset. And as soon as you right click an item, it will select it and then you can reset it. And we want the same thing to happen with our property grid. It's not going to happen by default. You can't right click. Nothing will happen because you have to supply your own context menu strip. So let's add a context menu strip. Add an item to the context menu strip. Call it reset. I'm going to rename it to TSMI reset. And let's go to its click event handler. In the click event handler, call set um, call reset selected property. Now you can actually reset properties. So I can change this four color here. Hit or right click. Nothing will happen because you actually have to set the context menu for the property grid. So let's go to the property grid view here and set its context menu strip. There we go. So we change the back color and then you can hit reset. And make sure that you just do a lot of malicious things with this to make sure it's okay. So I just clicked around. You don't really have to because I've already done it in the video, but it's best practice to just do crazy things with your programs to make sure that it cannot possibly, there cannot be like no selected items or something like that. So if I were to click down here, nothing bad happens. and you will actually find a lot of bugs doing that. So this is Left Technical, signing out.